What's up, guys? We'll start off today's update with Connor reacting to Calvin Gaslam having to pull out of his fight against Imovov this weekend. So Connor reposted this image with the caption, absolute scruff this thing is, that's full on staph infection all over his face, a full hole. Oh my God, it's the second time to attempt to enter competition like this. What the F, clean your mats, wash yourself, go to the doctor's scruff. So interesting to see Connor go at Kelvin. I don't think they really have a history. We'll see how Kelvin responds. But for now, we got Strickland stepping in and saving the first card of the year. He just fought last month against Cannoneer and lost a close decision. He felt like the judges got this one wrong. So we'll see if Strickland can get back into the win column against Imovov this weekend. Let me know who you guys are picking for that one. For our next update, we got Benil Daryush making some comments about Dustin Poirier, who said he didn't want to fight Benil Daryush. He respected him, but it's just not a big enough name for Dustin. Benil responded basically saying that he thinks Dustin should consider retiring because if he's looking for big names and specific fights, then that's not really the right mentality to have in the fight game. He's saying there's young and hungry dogs coming up and they're looking to kill. A lot of fans have been frustrated with the lightweight division where only certain names are fighting each other like Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje's actually kind of taking a different right. Looks like he's going to be fighting Rafael Fazeev soon. So let me know what you guys think of Benio Dariush's comments about Dustin Poirier, who you agree with. Dustin actually already responded to these comments saying, thanks for the advice, Benny. I'll take it into consideration. Not sure if you're into hot sauce or not, but if you are, free shipping on me. He also gave his prediction for Islam Makachev versus Volkanovski, saying that he thinks Islam's going to win. It's going to be a close one. He thinks it's going to come down to the striking and it won't be on the ground for long. For our last update, we got the parent company of the UFC, Endeavor, looking to purchase WWE. Apparently, WWE is trying to get sold later this year. And Endeavor's president, Mark Shapiro, said the UFC has a big interest in acquiring them. So those are all the updates for this one. If you guys want quick MMA news like this, make sure to follow along. Hope to see you guys in the next one.